Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do a Camtasia Basics. Now, the whole idea of this series is not to show you everything about Camtasia and how to use it, but how to get started. And the producers of Camtasia is a company called TechSmith Super Company. The great thing about TechSmith is they've stayed up with the technology, and that's fantastic. I've actually been using this product for years. So we're on the TechSmith website, www.techsmith.com, and let's go right to the Purchase tab and go to Educational Pricing. So if you're in education, you get a super deal on this software. And I'm suggesting that you buy the Camtasia Snagit Bundle. Now Camtasia is a video recorder while Snagit is basically a screen capture uh, recorder. And they both have uh, studios that allow you to edit the uh, video and the images. The uh, At present, the Camtasia Studio Snagit Bundle is $199. Super deal. Make sure you get the maintenance too because they are updating all the time. Uh, real quick here, if you want to learn how, more about Snagit and how to use it, you can go to one of our tutorials using Snagit Tutorial uh, on YouTube. And that's the YouTube address right there. And we also have a ton of uh, Camtasia series on YouTube as far as using a drawing pad and uploading video to YouTube as well. Another program you want to download to use with Camtasia is a program called Sizer. We have a tutorial on that on YouTube as well using Sizer free software. And that's a YouTube address right there. And importantly, the great thing about TechSmith and Camtasia and Snap. And the great thing about TechSmith is they have a ton of tutorials on how to use their products on their website. So I really can't rave enough about all the great tutorials that TechSmith does in support of their products. Let's take a look at Camtasia real quick. We'll go to support, click on Learning Center. I'm going to come down here and click on, here's under Camtasia, you see getting started, recording, editing. Let's click on editing and see what they have there. And you can see right here under editing, add a transition, add a call out, add a title clip, add smart focus, apply zoom and pan, record camera video, modify a picture, add captioning. All the neat stuff that you want to do that really gives your video that exciting dynamic professional look. Camtasia has a video on how to do that. Great training. Does a lot better than I do so go to that. Get your Camtasia, get started and start putting your videos on YouTube. Now when it comes to doing a video recording or an audio recording the most important thing you need to pay attention to is audio sound because you can have a great video but bad sound it will really detract from your users experience so make sure you get a great sound the way you do that is by using a USB headset there's two models I'm going to show you today one is from Newegg and it's a Plantanix headset and it's USB and the other is from uh, Sweetwater and it's the Rode microphone it's the one I prefer and it runs about two hundred dollars and I, I think you can find it cheaper on other places on the web but I buy mine from Sweetwater so if you want to visit there and purchase their uh, Rode microphone I'm sure they'd appreciate it and it is a USB that's the most important thing because with a USB you get clear sound not that sound we got from the old audio equipment the old uh, analog stuff so just a uh, heads up and that using those either one of those devices will give you a great sound and the good thing about them too is they're high resistant you don't need a huge studio like you had in the old days where everything's padded these actually keep the sound coming in right around your microphone and someone may be doing something in the far background but it won't pick it up and I just love this new technology once again let me show you those addresses it's a Plantonix USB headset you can get it off a of Newegg or Amazon and a Rode USB microphone which you can get off of Sweetwater or just search the web now, before we start Camtasia, there are two types of files. There are CamRack file, which is the raw file. The recording file will do it first. And then there's the modified file, which we'll edit, which is called a CamProj file. And uh, whenever you create a name for that project file, the final product that you produce will be poured into a folder with that name. And we're going to basically look at two uh, commands in Camtasia, cut and split. Let's do that right now. Now, the first thing you're going to see when you open up Camtasia, specifically now the first thing you're going to see when you open up Camtasia 5 is this Camtasia Studio window which has a new recording screen, new voice recording, new PowerPoint or import media. Also I want to bring your attention to uh, it shows recent projects but tutorial videos. You want to click on these tutorial videos and watch them. It will tell you everything you need to know about Camtasia, getting started, how to record, how to edit, how to produce, how to share. It's just fantastic and uh, the support of this product can't be beat by anyone and that's why I'm so proud actually to show you this product. It's a great product. You're going to be able to do a lot with it. So let me go to, I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on make recording. 
and we're going to get started. Very important here, you want to make sure that you're recording through the right microphone. So I'm on a laptop, and immediately Camtasia will try to grab my laptop microphone. Don't want that. I want to go to audio recording, and you want to be on a USB headset or the Rode microphone. You see I'm on the Rode Podcaster right here. I want to adjust my volume all the way up, and I'm ready to start recording. And you hit OK, and uh, then you want to select your area. So select the area that you want to record and immediately you see this record button. Now typically what you want to do before you even select an area is have something out there that you can record on. So we'll record and talk about the uh, the head, the uh, Plantanix headset. So in this case let's just highlight the microphone and we can start recording. And now all we have to do is to record, we can just hit the record button. Now you can actually change the different width and height right here. So if you hit these preset states you can actually change the size of what you're recording to. 640 by 480. We'll go back to uh, 400 by 300 so you can actually see it in my recorder. So I'm actually recording Camtasia with Camtasia to do this uh, tutorial. When you're ready to record, you can just hit record and it starts the process. Now you see I have the pencil out here so I can actually draw off my bamboo pad. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And you're just going to record for a while and you can stop. And once you stop, you want to save. It'll play the video and then you want to save that video. And I can save it as test one, for example. And it will bring it out and help let me start editing it. Or I could make another recording as well. So let's make another one. And we'll just look at that part of it. And we could start recording. And we could call this test two, for example, and then we could stop that. And then my recording is done. Just one more thing real quick here. I'm going to save that as test two. You want to make sure your screen is a certain size and the same size every time. And the way to do that is just to right click here on the screen and choose the position using Sizer. So I mentioned earlier you need to download Sizer. Look at my tutorial on Sizer. I'll show you how to use it. But you can actually change the size of the screen by just clicking on that. It will always be the same size when you record with Camtasia. And that's very important. So once again, using Sizer. So we're done with that. Let's go ahead and open up Camtasia and start processing. Now when I made uh, my Camtasia recordings, I actually sent it to my documents in a folder called Camtasia. We'll click on that Camtasia files right there. And I called them uh, test1 and test2. Let's find those folders. And you can see them right here. That's test1 and test2. I can just grab those files. So basically shift click on both of those or control click and just drag them right to my clip bin. And at this point I can actually drag them to wherever I want them in the timeline. This one will go here and I'll hit OK and this one will follow. And now I can begin editing these uh, recordings. Now it's very quick, quick to look here. Here's the scrub bar for your video. So you can actually scrub through the video. There wasn't a whole lot done here. Maybe you can see the mouse moving around a little bit. And um, if you don't like a piece, you can just basically open that up, right click on it, and cut it. So you can cut selection. And let's drag this down a little bit so you can actually see that screen. So I'm going to right click and go cut selection. So I cut out a piece. If I don't like that, I just go ahead and control shift. One other thing you can do with Camtasia is um, split. So if I have another media, I want to put another piece of media in there. So I can come along here and uh, hit the split key. That splits the media and allows me to put something else in there. So I want to shift that in there. And boom, I just put another piece in there. So it gives you the ability to, to move things around however you want to. Very simple piece of software to uh, work with. Uh, and in the further tutorials, I show you how to do that in a more detailed fashion. And once again, hit those Camtasia tutorials on TechSmith. I can't do a job like they can, but this is the basics that will help you get started. You can come along here, you can see all these different things that you can do with Camtasia. You can uh, uh, audio enhancements, zoom and pan, call outs, transitions, you know, captions, flash quiz, and surveys. So there's just a ton of uh, stuff you can do with Camtasia. Once again, Go through the tutorials on those, and before you know it, you'll be a Camtasia expert. It's easy to use. can pick it up in about 30 minutes and start putting tutorials on the web. One last thing. You want to actually produce this video. Just go to uh, Produce Video As and uh, choose a setting. So at this point, that's the kind of the intro to Camtasia, and i show you more in the following tutorials.